Hello, my name is Petra Hunger. Today I'm going to show you how to create a determination. A determination is the place in TM where you can add custom code and coding for any object. We will do a development that will change the freight unit number at the creation of the freight unit. To do that, we need to create a determination in transaction BOBX. Okay, let's go into the system. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to enter the transaction BOBX. Okay, then we go to the home business object and we say create business object enhancement. Then we enter our enhancement name, that's not the class name, that enhancement TOR, for example, and then the business object we refer to, slash SCM TMS tour. Then in there, we open the node elements, where because we want to create an element, which is a determination, we go to the root node, the node on which we want to do the determination, and then we say create determination. In the determination itself, we first have to provide the name of the determination, determination create change, at which place. So recommendation from SAP is not to do too many determinations. So we create one determination for create change uh, for performance reasons. Then we give a description for the determination and then we will give a class interface name. So all we have to do is to provide a class name. The framework will generate the class for us. I have prepared a prepared name, so I will copy paste it there. Um, and then uh, there will be a, a name. Actually, I preferred one, but I will change the name create to create change class. When once you have provided a name, then you can save and, and then you have to provide a package. In this case, it's that TM. And then uh, you can actually generate the enhancement object. Um, and uh, at the end of the generation, Okay, let's first generate. You can, you will be able to double click on the class and have the framework of the class generated. Let's do that. Yes, create it now. Yes, we want to create the object. Yes, we want to save it on the package that yeah. Yes, we want to store it in the transport request. Okay, we got a class with three methods. The methods that we can change is the execute method. But before we do that, let's change the trigger conditions. I was talking about them. So we want to trigger it when someone creates or updates the root node. Okay. Later on, we have also to um, indicate the evaluation time points. But I'm not doing it right now. I think I will do the coding right now. The coding starts with the documentation. So the, this method shall override the number of the freight unit at the creation. So I want to start with the read table directly. I mean, that's, that's great, but that's not possible, of course. We need to have the framework first. So, and we need to do some data declaration. So we are declaring first the root node of the Tor object with the combined, combined structure. So if you don't know what's combined structure, there is a Bob uh, video that I have created. So you can have a look at that. Then we will also we declare LT root for the root node and LT root BI for the uh, before image of the root node. Okay, then the data will be retrieved. Okay, and it will be read into LT root and LT root BI. The before image and the after image is useful to check if certain changes have happened because you don't want that determination come up every time at every change. You can actually check which changes will trigger the determination. Okay. So it's very important to limit the coding to the category of the tour object. There's a lot of different tour objects, freight unit, freight order, freight booking, and you want this coding to run only for the freight unit. So we are reading the LT root table and we are checking if the tour category is FU. If it's FU, it's fine. If not, then we are exiting the code as soon as we have actually started it. After that, I'm declaring a local variable, which is the variable delivery node. Actually, I'm going to read the delivery node number from the root node, which is stored in, in the field base PTD ID. And, and then after that, with that delivery node, I'm going to read the PSP element from the underlying, underlying delivery. Okay, so if base BTD is not initial, so if there is a delivery, then let's remember only the first 10 digits of that base BTB 
ID field. Okay, that's fine. And then after that, we are going to do the select on the LIKP. Okay, I'm copying it. It's actually on LIPS, by the way. And then we are going to uh, select the PSP element. And then the project uh, ID is only the first few digits of the PSP element. And then we are checking if it's not uh, initial. So if the select was successful, fine. Yeah, we have a lot of errors. We have to declare the local variable delivery ID as a, as a variable. Okay, we have to declare the PSP element, which we are selecting into, of course. We have to declare LT key, which is the Bob's configuration key, okay. All right, the external PSP element, because after we selected the PSP from LIPS, from the delivery item table, we actually um, are going to select the external ID from another table. Okay, after we select, we check if it's not initial, just to be sure that it's filled. Okay. And then we declare the project ID as seven digits. Okay. Okay, I'm going to run the rest of the coding in fast forward mode, so that if you're interested, you can just slow down the video and watch it. Uh, to your own uh, paste, and uh, then we will come to the end where we will test the development with the freight unit. At this point in time, uh, it's actually interesting again because uh, we are doing the evaluation uh, time points. So after modify means if someone has actually changed something, I don't want this to be at after modify. Actually, I want this only at the creation. At the moment, I've put it as creation and update so that I can test it more easily. Um, so. That's, that's it. So these evaluation time points are very critical. Depending on the evaluation time points, uh, you can influence the number of times that the determination is called, and that's very critical for performance. Performance is very critical in TM because it can be slow if you don't develop your own custom developments well. In the meantime, we came to the um, testing of the FRED unit. So here we are in a FRED unit. And um, in order to trigger the development, we are going to set the breakpoint in the coding, and then we are going to change something in the freight unit. In, and when we save it, the custom coding will, uh, will be triggered. So let's see how it happens. Okay, so we are in the FU. We are changing something in the FU. Okay, I'm locked on in German. <laughs> it's fine. I think you understand it's the planning and execution group what we are changing and we are going into the debugger. Okay, first I'm clearing the variables. After that, I'm declaring service and transaction manager. And then uh, the table LT root is red. The FUID is filled. Actually, in this case, there is already an FUID generated from last time. And we can see the base BTD ID. It has the delivery number with a long, with lots of leading zeros. And in the FU key, we have a Bob key inside. Okay, I'm going into the FU again. I already got out of the debugger. And we are going to look at that again. Okay, we are changing again something to trigger the coding. Okay, we are in the debugger, clearing the variables. Service Manager Declaration, Transaction Manager Declaration. We are reading the table LT root and checking whether the talk category is FU. Then we get the FU ID. This time we have an external and an internal number, the normal number. 
then we are seeing how the TDI idea is filled with the delivery number and leading zeros. LV delivery number has the delivery number without the leading zeros. Okay. And then we are reading the PSP element. Okay, let's go single step so that we see if it is filled. Okay, yes, it's filled. It's actually, we are checking if there is other FUs with the same project ID. Okay, and then we are setting the counter. So what's the amount in the counter? So in the selection for the FU ID, we are using the project with styles to see if any other FU is there with the same project ID. Okay, and now we have a new uh, project ID, no new FU number with the counter 006 because there was other freight units with the number 999. Okay, so the counter is six and then we are converting the TOR ID, okay, and then we receive a timeout there, so a very strong timeout, but actually the FU uh, creation has worked. We will, we will see it. Yes, we are going to call again the freight unit. You see there are already a number of freight units with a new number, okay, so actually when you go into the FU, you can see that there is a new FU ID. Okay, so that's the end of the demo. I hope you liked it and it has helped you to create your own determination. Thank you for your attention and it's time to say goodbye. Um, if you would like to learn about other subjects, just suggest them right in the video uh, subject if, if you have liked it, what you have liked and which other subject you would like to learn about. Take care, take care of CM and see you soon.